daughter was going to get a restraining order put on him. The judge denied it. She reported um, everything that he did, all of his tactics, nothing was done. A Milwaukee man charged with killing Timmons appeared in court today. Timmons and Fuller have been going through a messy child custody dispute. The complaint also says Fuller told him detectives he did not know why he shot her, and it was the devil that made him walk over to her house. 42-year-old Lakeisha Timmons, a beacon of hard work, beauty, and faith, was the epitome of motherhood, raising eight children with unwavering love and dedication. Adored by her family, cherished by her friends, revered by the community, she was a pillar of strength and kindness. But amidst the love and adoration, lurked a venomous serpent named Ronald Fuller, her former boyfriend and father of her three youngest children. Their separation, years ago, was a relief from Fuller's suffocating control, his possessiveness, his abuse. Yet, he continued his assault on her sanity, using their children as pawns in his twisted game of manipulation and cruelty. Forced to flee, to seek refuge behind restraining orders, she fought tooth and nail for the safety of her children. But the courts, blinded by incompetence or indifference, failed her when she needed justice most. Timmons, a victim of a despicable system that failed her at every turn, was stripped of her fundamental rights. Her right to live, her right to safety, her right to be a mother. Ronald, poisoned by sickness and consumed by rage, meticulously plotted Timmons' demise, executing his plan with cold-blooded intent on April 1st. April 1st, chosen with cruel intent, a date meant to mock, to taunt, to brand Timmons as a fool for daring to seek full custody. In a final display of outrageous audacity, he had the gall to claim that the devil made him do it. Welcome to the American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. Ronald once held primary custody of their shared daughters, ages 3, 5, and 6, but the courts, in their infinite incompetence, forced him to share custody with Timmons over a grueling four-and-a-half-year battle. Despite their attempts to resolve their differences, the situation quickly soured once again. Fuller, fueled by malice and unchecked fury, launched baseless attacks against Timmons in court, accusing her of safety issues and questioning her mental health. His vile rhetoric escalated to the point where he ominously declared to a court-appointed investigator that a war is starting, likening it to World War III. In late February, despite Fuller's blatant disregard for truth and sanity, the Milwaukee County Court Commissioner awarded Timmons sole custody, recognizing her as the more fit parent. Yet, in a baffling display of judicial incompetence, Fuller was still granted custody every other weekend, a decision made in direct contradiction to the investigator's concerns about his fitness as a parent. Fuller's refusal to allow an investigator into his home and his inability to answer basic questions such as, what grade his children were in and when they started school in the mornings, should have been red flags, yet they were shamefully overlooked. The same investigator who voiced concerns about Fuller's fitness as a parent also attested to the children's well-being under Timmons' care, noting that her home was well-kept and that the children were thriving. Yet, despite overwhelming evidence in Timmons' favor, the court failed to protect her. Furious at the court's decision, Fuller descended into madness, concocting a plan to end Timmons' life on April 1st, a cruel mockery aimed at belittling Timmons, branding her a fool for daring to seek full custody. He obtained her address from her relative and lay in wait, a predator lurking in the shadows. As Timmons returned home after dropping off her children, Fuller unleashed a barrage of bullets, silencing her forever. One of Timmons' children, a helpless witness to the brutality, heard her final words as her life was brutally snatched from her. Tonight, a Milwaukee mother of seven shot and killed in front of her own home. It happened early this morning near 18th and Hadley in the city's North Division neighborhood. 12 News' Madison Moore spoke with family members who say she was like a mom to the whole neighborhood. Unimaginable pain for one Milwaukee family Monday morning. She was a good person. She left behind seven kids. 
She loved me. I love her kid. A mother left grieving the loss of her daughter, identified by family as 42-year-old Lakeisha Timmons. She was so happy I talked to her this morning. Family tells me Lakeisha had just gotten home from dropping her kids off at school Monday morning when she was gunned down right near her home here on the corner of 18th and Hadley. She took seven shots. I don't, I don't know what's, what happened. I just know she was murdered this morning. She was a great mom. She never regretted having none of our kids. Lakeisha's adult daughter, her eldest, says the youngest of the seven siblings is just two years old. Family says she was beloved by her neighbors. My mama, everybody, all of our friends was her kids. Any kids who needed somewhere to stay, that was her kids. She fed them. She didn't want nobody. She didn't ask for nothing. She looked out for everybody how she could, as much as she could, y'all. Milwaukee police spent hours on the scene. Investigators canvassing the area believe the shooting was the result of an argument. <laughs> oh, my God, I just hope y'all found who killed my daughter, man. Found him. Please find the person who killed my baby. A plea for justice for another life lost too soon. A domestic dispute, a Milwaukee man is now charged days after a mother of eight is shot to death. Court records show Ronald Fuller is the father of three of her children. Fox 6's Durante Matthews joins us here in studio tonight with why police say Fuller pulled the trigger. That's right, Stephanie. Ben, 53-year-old Ronald Fuller is charged with one count of first-degree reckless homicide for shooting and killing Lakeisha Timmons outside of her house Monday morning. A criminal complaint says when police interviewed him yesterday, he told them the devil made him walk over to her house before he shot her. The report says Lakeisha was driving kids to school around 7 in the morning. Police say they have video showing Fuller walking around her house, across streets, and through alleys for about 30 minutes until she came back home. That's when investigators say he walked over to her and she screamed, Ron, what are you doing, before he shot at her nine times, walked away, and ditched the gun. She was hit once in the abdomen and died shortly after. Officer Say Fuller told them he only wanted to wound her, and he did this to take care of his kids. Now, we spoke with Lakeisha's family on Monday, who said they're devastated by the loss, and she didn't deserve this. A two-year-old Milwaukee man charged with killing Timmons appeared in court today. A commissioner set bail at $250,000 for Ronald Fuller. According to the criminal complaint, one of her other children told investigators Timmons and Fuller have been going through a messy child custody dispute. The complaint also says Fuller told detectives he did not know why he shot her, and it was the devil that made him walk over to her house. Troubling and sad story. We brought you on Monday when a mother of eight was shot and killed right outside of her home on Milwaukee's north side. The 53-year-old man charged with the homicide made his first appearance in court today. CBS 58's Daniela Cotto tells us what happened. Mr. Fuller, you've been charged with first-degree reckless homicide with use of a dangerous weapon. 52-year-old Ronald Fuller is accused of shooting Lakeisha Timmons to death, just steps away from her Northside home in Milwaukee on April 1st. On Friday, he appeared by video in court and was told he faces up to 65 years in prison. The criminal complaint says Fuller has three children with the 42-year-old victim, and one of her children told a detective, quote, his mother and Fuller have been going through a messy child custody dispute and that his mother had been granted custody of the girls last November. Her son also told police he was awakened by the sound of multiple gunshots coming from outside his home early Monday morning. Detectives report that Timmons was approached by a man with a hood who was limping, believed to be Fuller. At one point, the complaint states that a detective reviewed a video leading up to the homicide and heard Timmons yelling, Ron, asking him what it was he was doing and to stop playing games until the detective reports hearing a total of nine gunshots. She received two gunshot wounds in her abdomen and died at the scene. In an interview with the suspect just two days after the incident, Fuller admitted to the crime, saying, quote, yes, I did shoot her. Why? I don't have an answer. Because of the um, aggravated and serious nature of the uh, allegations here, so I'm going to set cash at $250,000. Tonight, loved ones honoring the memory of a Milwaukee mother of eight shot and killed. Lakeisha Timmons died on Monday. Investigators say someone gunned her down right outside of her home near 18th and Hadley just after dropping her children off at school. 12 News' Erica Finke was there as family and friends remembered her at a vigil. Thank you.
circling the intersection at 18th and Hadley, holding hands. I love you, Mommy. The place where Lakeisha Timmons was gunned down outside her home Monday morning. The 42-year-old was a mother of eight. Her daughter, Jessica Thomas, trying to stay strong. My mama just had a beautiful soul and she really didn't deserve what she got. Friday's vigil comes one day after prosecutors charged 52-year-old Ronald Fuller with first-degree reckless homicide in Timmons' death. The criminal complaint stating Timmons' son saw Fuller walking from the house after the shooting. Quote, his mother and Fuller had been going through a messy child custody dispute and that his mother had been granted custody of the girls last November. I don't know why Mr. Fuller did this to my daughter of a custody battle that she won. The documents saying Fuller told investigators the devil made him walk over to Lakeisha's house. Quote, yes, I did shoot her. Why? I don't have an answer. My daughter did not deserve to die like this. Amen. Amen. The family is now demanding justice for Timmons and other domestic violence survivors. We need answers. My siblings, they deserve answers. We all deserve answers. Something has to be done. This won't rest until something is done. Erica Finke joining us live outside of Milwaukee Police Headquarters tonight. And Erica, the man charged in this case appeared in court earlier today. And a commissioner set Ronald Fuller's bail at $250,000. Tibbins' family is hoping to see more change to help domestic violence victims. And they're also hoping to meet with city leaders in the future to come up with some solutions. Lakeisha might still be breathing if the court had taken Fuller's threats seriously. Her family has reached out to the courts and city officials to demand accountability. As they pursue justice, they should consider pursuing a civil lawsuit with legal representation. Ronald was nothing but a vile, resentful, bitter ex-partner, determined to shatter his ex's life by using their children as weapons. His despicable actions were enabled by the utter lack of accountability within the criminal and probate systems. As the family mourns, they've set up a GoFundMe to cover Timmons' funeral expenses. Let's not forget them in our thoughts and prayers as they navigate this horrific ordeal. May Lakeisha Timmons find the peace in death that was cruelly denied to her in life.